when we talk about marketing, you know, these these ploys don't exactly pay off necessarily. We don't we don't expect a price pump necessarily right away. Um, but for me, the inspiration came that NASCAR fans would resonate with Richard Hart. You know, I, I just got done interviewing a guy who works in a hardware store, but now he retired because he was he put in a couple hundred bucks couple thousand and i mean he's just a multi-millionaire now and he just worked he was a blue collar worker two years ago and now he's retired and like i feel like that resonates with the nascar audience a lot a lot of majority of the guys they're hard-working people they want to know where they could put their money and richard's a straight shooter those are the types of those guys love that type of talk so um dead on ricky oh i thought you were saying like i'm dead or something but yeah exactly um so that, that that's my thought on why nascar somebody tweeted you know some of them are racist we shouldn't do this we shouldn't get into politics i'm, I'm brother i'm sorry but like that's not my head wasn't there at all and if we're gonna think about that then we've already been defeated so that's just noise don't even let that get in the way that's not truth um, so just don't let that be like a deterring factor. For oh my giving. gosh. Well, something like that never even registered in my mind. And I'm, I mean, a, I'm know, a lifelong just, NASCAR it, it just goes fan. In and out. I go, you know what? Continuing on, you, you know, you, you get a headline from the news spelled yeah. with the Z and you think a certain way It's like, yeah. what in the uh, stop. All right. Yeah. Right. yeah. So again, it's, it's the full car. It's all the uniforms, the crew, the pit, 10 owner passes. You get to go on the race, like on the floor, you get to go to the driver's meeting and you get to meet other owners. Michael Jordan owns a team. Pitbull owns a team. Dolly. NAS NASCAR has been <laughs> more, uh, it's been cool. It's been coolized a little bit. It's actually mm -hmm. like more mainstream and popular. It's going to be the most watched Daytona 500 of all time. The most eyes on it. I mean, that's just in an opportunity for Grant, the director, you know, I talked to him from the highest stakes. Maybe he'll hop over and, and, and check in and uh, maybe shoot something. Um, you know, what a moment in time for us to be on the Daytona 500, like on a car. And J.J. Ely's a great driver. He actually could win the race. The Daytona 500 is, is up for grabs. That in Talladega, as Cabana was talking about yesterday, it's kind of anyone's race. Um, and he's not a start and park kind of guy or whatever it's called where they go drive and then put their like car away. This guy's like shake and bake Ricky Bobby. If you ain't first, you're last. Like that's this guy. He's, he's a real driver. He's committed to, to winning and he knows what we're trying to do and he'd love to do it. The driver himself. So with a um, lot of power yeah, under the hood too, I'm sticking to it. Yeah. With a lot of power under the hood, Hendrick motors, man. So yep, huge. So, yes, good to know he's a good driver. Yeah, I mean, he, he runs, I think, full-time Xfinity, which is a series right below uh, the big boys. But, you know, some of these guys get sponsors. that They're going to run. So. Yeah. And, and they did say if we don't reach this, I uh, just talked to April today. She's the rep, main rep um, for Josh. And she was like, we could talk about the whole Xfinity um, season if you want. Like if we if we maybe we get to four hundred and it just really doesn't seem like we work. Yeah. I mean, talk to Motley. You know, we we have content ready for people because we, we do want to be ready. We can't just have an empty funnel. We need a video that says, "Hey, Daytona five hundred people, this is how you onboard into Hex." And um, you realistically really could actually see a price pump. It wouldn't be that day. It'd more be like the next week. You know, and then, you know, if we can align ourselves and, and I do know people in PR, I think if we actually did this, I would just reach out to the, my people because I lived in L.A. for 10 years and they helped launch the Kardashians. So the minute we actually ink a deal, I'm going to go to NBC, CNB. I'm going to go to ESPN. Like I, I worked for the Big Ten Football Network. So I'm just going to reach out to all my PR people and have them write an article on this as well. Like that's what yeah, you need to do. Cool. Yeah, you I was know, talking so, about that earlier. Is that like would be amazing, just, man. Just media, media contacts. I mean, we could, you know, yeah. have some of these guys. I mean, I have I forgot to talk tell to everyone them. that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've talked to them. Uh, yeah. I have some in, you know, my file or whatever. Think about Discourse Syndicate or, you know, we could bring these guys in, you know, reporters and things like that who write about this stuff for a living yeah. and be like, okay, cool. What is this? You know, what's this, you know, sponsor kind of thing? And even if it's not, it won't be ideally like a, a full page or full screen article, but a mention, things like that. It, it's, it, it adds up.
how can people participate? I was telling them, Hey, you know, you on Twitter, uh, yeah. Motley investor. Uh, but how, how, what, what do people need to do here? The best way to do it for us is let us know if you're verbally committed and we'll take that word seriously and we'll put you on our Google sheet that we've collected over $200,000 worth of commitments. And when we hit that 600,000 mark or even 550, like I've been talking to the sponsor, um, you know, I think he's going to work with us regardless. Um, if we can get at break five, like let's break five and then we can have a real conversation. Then I would go to everyone like, look, we got our goal, you know, send your money to either Motley on the address or we can do USD. Um, however, that works for people, wires or bank transfers. Um, and then that's how we would get it done. But we're not asking for any money up front. We just want a serious verbal commitment. Um, your word is your bond, just like, you know, Richard Hart teaches us. The truth. And yeah, so we have six full days. Well, five and a couple hours left in this night. 200k in 48 hours pretty sweet um i think it's 100 percent possible so um i don't know if i could share one little thing uh cabana about whatever you want man why i'm doing it um you know i think 